Hello and welcome to Fun Bikes TV. My name is James and today we're going to build a GoTrax GLX 250 watt scooter. The first thing we're going to do to start the assembly on our scooter is raise the handlebars up. To do this, push down on the mudguard at the rear and squeeze it and then pull the handlebars up off the clip. We're now going to fit the handlebars and head unit onto the bike. To do this, use a four Allen key to move the plastic bracket just here that has the brake cable going into it. Remove the plastic insert in the top of the stem. Then remove the bubble wrap. Taking your handlebar headset headstock unit out of the plastic pack, out of the bubble wrap. Insert it in to the bars. It only positions in one way over the top of the battery because there's a notch out in there and there's a notch on the battery for it to align with. Fully insert it down. And then the clip you've just removed. Pull the brake lever out. As you can see, I've fed the outer brake cable down slightly. Position it into the brake lever. and root the outer cable into the notch. Take this around to the back side again and replace the two bolts you have just removed. You will find that this is quite tight and trying to pull down when you are trying to align it. Push up the bottom of the clamp to allow it to align correctly. And then fully tighten the two bolts back up. We now need to do a nut and bolt check of the vehicle to make sure that everything is tight. Using a three, a four and a five Allen key, we're going to make sure that all the bolts at the front end of the scooter are tight. Starting off with a five Allen key, check the bolts that attach the frame to the stem are tight on both sides. Then using a three Allen key, Check all that these bolts again are tight on the scooter and your plastic trims on both sides. Then using the four Allen key, make sure that your bolts on the stem are tight. We're now ready to make sure that the stand is tight on the bike. We're now going to make sure that the stand is tight using the three Allen key. If you fold the stand down, it allows you access on both sides to the bolts. We're now ready to make sure that the rear brake caliper and brake disc is tight on the scooter. Using a four Allen key, make sure that your brake disc is tight. Either find the size of the brake disc, this is a 110 disc, stamped on it or the directional arrow as a starting point and then work your way around each bolt, rotating the wheel until you get back to the point you started on. Once you're happy they are tight, use a three Allen key, check the covers are tight on the rear of the scooter. And then using the five Allen key, make sure that your brake caliper is tight. These are slotted heads, so if your disc brake is rubbing slightly on the rear of the scooter, you can loosen these off and it allows you to move the caliper from side to side. 
and using a four Allen key, make sure that the cable mounting bolt is tight. We're now going to make sure that the brake lever is set to the right angle and is also tight. It wants to be angled approximately 30 degrees down for the optimum riding position, which this one is. And then using the five Allen key, just make sure it's tight. If you need to adjust it, you would loosen off the bolt, Allen key bolt, and then it allows you to rotate the lever around. Once we've done this, we're then going to remove the protective covers off the screen. We're now going to remove the protective covers off the screen. And these have little small tabs on the side of them and you literally just peel the protective film off before the first use. We are now ready to put the scooter on charge before we use it for the first time. We now need to put the quick release safety clip in to stop the handlebars folding down when you're riding. This came in one of the plastic bags within the box. Insert it through with the two washers on and literally thread it in. and fold the quick release over to make sure that it's tight. And this then secures your handlebars and stops them folding over if you were to catch the clip when you're riding the scooter. We're now ready to put our scooter on charge for the first time. At the top of the uh, handlebar section just here, there's a little plastic cover, pull that back and it reveals the charge point on the scooter. Insert your charger in and then you'll need to charge the scooter for 12 hours before the first use. This helps to boost up your battery, will give you further from each ride and make sure lithium battery lasts longer in the long run. There is an LED system on the, scooter, on the charger. This will turn to red when the scooter is on charge. Once it is charged, it will turn to green. For the first charge of 12 hours, please leave it on even if your charger turns to green. However, after this, Whenever the charger turns to green, the scooter is fully charged, take it off charge and remove the charger from the vehicle. Always making sure you push the pl plastic cover down firmly so there's no chance of any water getting into the headset. We've now fully assembled our GoTrax 250 watt GLX scooter. Thank you for watching Fun Bikes TV. Let the fun begin.